a very welcome to you to 11th of May's Gauli Dressing. May you be a lucky multi-million times lucky soul who revolves around God's remembrance, God's methods of making us pure through his knowledge and is always burning with desire to remember God and thus changing our life. So let's see what does God have to say about this. May you be an elevated soul out of multi-millions. How many souls are there? There are multi-million souls. I think now so many souls are there on this earth that we are counting ourselves out of those souls as a lucky soul who God chooses instead of us choosing God. Who God chooses to remember. Who God depends upon to change the world. May you be an elevated soul out of multi-millions and become moths and surrender yourself to the one flame. God is a flame and we are the moths. So you are a handful out of multi-millions in the whole world. It's just a handful. Few souls who God chooses to change the whole world. They are the first ones who descended upon this earth. The first most powerful creations of God. Are you that? Are you that one? Are you that soul? You to understand whether you are that soul or not. Please come over and do the seven day course in front of my eyes. Your recognition, realization of the self will happen at that. You are also a few out of that handful. You have experienced and realized yourselves to be the same elevated souls from the previous cycle. You surrendered yourself to the Father. So this, this is a Kal Chakra of 5000 years. This won't cover us for 5000 years and then changes. Then it starts afresh 5000 years. But we souls don't remember because we are stuck in time and space, this space, this time. And we can only remember a couple of days back what we had. If I asked you what did you have 10 days back, you wouldn't remember. Whom did you make 10 days back, you wouldn't remember. So forget about 5,000 years. So God is the one who comes and reminds us that, my child, you've been on this earth plane for 5,000 years, but not everyone. Because the population kept on increasing over a period of time, right? So not everyone descends. Years ago. Otherwise, the population in the beginning would have been 800 to 900 million. So that's why God says that you are just a few handful of the previous souls who have taken many births and have become tired, and I now come to fulfill you with my powers. So God says you have experienced and realized yourself to be the same elevated souls from the previous cycle who surrendered yourself to the Father, the flame. We are the same souls. So we are at the brink of end and the beginning of the new cycle. So God is saying you are the same souls who were so powerful, who were sent down from the Param Dham down and now you have become totally dirty. Let me again purify you so that you can go back up and again come down on this next cycle. Such souls are not those who simply circle around but you are those who become moths and surrender yourself. So there are certain souls who come, who do a darshan in the mandir and they then after 10 days they go back and then they are never to be seen. Then there are certain souls who meditate on God for a day or two and then afterwards for months and months they are off. Then there are certain souls who meditate on a daily basis. They like have complete dedication, feeling for God. So which kind of soul are you? So find it for yourself. To surrender oneself means to die. Die means what? To kill the dirtiness within. Dirtiness or ugliness within. And to let the newness come out. The pure of yourself. So you are those moths who burn on the flame by you know, God is asking us. Or you are someone who comes, meditates, goes away, who reads the Murti, meditates and then goes away for a few days, it's not necessary. To burn means to belong to the Father. To burn means to be completely transformed. You see, when you burn paper, it becomes ash, it transforms. When you burn the gold, what comes out of it? All the dirtiness comes out. So when we burn in the love of God, the dirtiness from within us is out. And that's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris, how to remove that dirtiness within us. To know more about it, do visit Brahma Kumaris Center and do the same in the course. Om Shabbat.